Hello Yambarang leaders, my name is Muhammad Abu Bakr, civil and human rights activist from Khartoum, Sudan and blogger for Yalla Press. Uh, today I have uh, three tips for you uh, in the writing track of the program. Uh, tip number one is to always keep one of these on you. Uh, it's a little brown notebook. It doesn't have to be this little or, or brown, but uh, it has to have enough pages for you to write anecdotes from throughout the day and thoughts that cross your mind. Uh, keeping one of these on you at all times uh, helps keep you organized and as long as you have one of them to look at every once in a while, you will, let, you will never run out of inspiration and of topics to write about for your next uh, blog post. Once you decide upon a topic and sit down to write your uh, first draft, um, what you will want to do is to engage your senses as much as possible. Uh, you gotta remember that uh, readers do not come to bloggers for facts and statistics. Uh, they can always get that from mainstream media. Uh, what they come to bloggers for is personal perspective on matters. So if you are reporting, uh, reporting a protest that is taking, uh, taking place in your city, uh, the reader is not really interested in number of people arrested or the fact that uh, tear gas was used. What they are really looking for is the human face of it. And, uh, and the way to, to give them that is to engage your senses as much as possible. So uh, instead of saying that tear gas was used, try to describe what was it like to smell that uh, gas. How, how did it feel against your skin? How your eyes felt? How terrified were you with the police, you know, running towards you with, the, with sticks and uh, and yeah, they do not really care at all for numbers and uh, and facts. They can always get that from TV. Um, what you also want to do, uh, don't want to do while writing your first draft is holding back. Uh, try to write as though you are not. Uh, you, you are writing to yourself and as though nobody will ever read what you're writing and uh, don't censor yourself one bit uh, what I do is I, I, I literally write uh, dear diary when I sit down to write uh, first draft and uh, I just let 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 go and uh, let let it all out uh, it usually results in uh, language that I uh, would not be proud if uh, if anyone would read. Uh, luckily, that's what editing is for. Speaking of editing, and uh, before you send out your piece to, uh, to your editor, uh, you will want to do some initial cleanup of your piece uh, to get rid of uh, any vulgar term or, um, or offensive phrase you may have used in your initial, uh, initial draft. Um, Usually it's not that difficult to find the phrase, uh, phrases and words to, that are just as strong as an expressive uh, to replace uh, the offensive phrases you may have used uh, in your first draft. Um, other times you will just have to, to leave them there and uh, your editor can take care of them or get rid, rid of them for you or leave them there. As long as you're not attacking anyone, it should be okay. Uh, last but not least, uh, you will always want to write bravely and fiercely uh, and you will want to always express your opinion no matter how unpopular it is, but please do it safely. Um, I understand that uh, it's not always safe uh, to express an unpopular opinion, especially in many regions and uh, there are so there are many ways to to do to do to express yourself uh, fully without harming yourself or endangering yourself or others for that matter uh, one way to do it is to to simply blog anonymously uh, i don't i personally don't do it uh, what i do what, what i do is when i have a, an extremely unpopular opinion uh, that i really must express somehow. Uh, I usually just quote uh, some other journalist or thinker who happens to have to hold the same opinion I have and I simply quote them and credit them for for the quote and uh, that way I get to say what I really want to say 
without actually saying it and I cannot be held um, responsible for other people's words uh, so that's one way to uh, to to go around uh, legal uh, responsibility for for your own opinions thank you so much for tuning in and I hope these tips were useful to you and if you have any follow-up questions uh, do not he hesitate to contact me directly um, good luck and goodbye.